What's up guys? So, um, first off, you may see this a little different video. Um, I've been wanting to get my GoPro in the car and uh, do a little vlog in here. Um, but yeah, to, on to the point of this video. Um, I know one of you guys commented on another video of mine um, saying that you were interested in hearing other people's sources of uh, sources of motivation. So I figured I'd do a little video on you know a couple of sources of mine, a couple of things that have uh, been been great sources of motivation for me and methods that I use that um, I think can be beneficial for for you guys also. So. I'm gonna categorize uh, sources of motivation into two. Um, pretty obvious. You're gonna have those good sources of motivation, the, or the positive, and then you're gonna have those negative sources. And um, you know, as crazy as it sounds, the negative sources usually are the the best ones because um, you know, as we as as our human nature is, I guess we more so focus on the um, on the, the the bad. And a lot of times that catches our attention a little bit more, and and in that, um, a lot of times we we grab a little bit more um, more push from that. I'm gonna actually uh, get my other camera going here, give you guys at least a, a view of me. I don't want to have it too much on uh, pointing forward. Um, actually, I'm taking a picture of myself. So yeah, hopefully that's not on the, on the screen. I don't think it is, but there's my GoPro there connected to my uh, my sun visor. But um, yeah, so a lot of times it's the it's the um, the negative things that catch our attention a little bit more, which is re one of the reasons why they can be sort of one of the, the greatest drivers. So um, I'm gonna give a little example here of one of the 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 ones that has really been a source of motivation for me. Um, last year I experienced a a, a negative relationship, one that. Um, ended pretty quickly um you know i i had fought my emotions for quite a long time and i was trying to avoid um i was trying to avoid really really being being you know in a relationship with someone because there were goals and things that i was working on that i felt, sort of felt the relationship would be sort of a distraction to and um you know eventually i got to a point where you know I sort of let that guard down and I said, you know what, maybe this will be pretty good. And um, it was one of those things that sort of broke the, it It, I, it wasn't necessarily a choice, it sort of just happened, um, in which I started to like the person a, a really good bit. And, um, you know, I try to use the word love lightly, but I, I'd really, you know, fall into that. And, um, you know, not too very long afterwards, and, and maybe it was my fault for being so hesitant or so resisting at first, but um, this person they invited it. They 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 said that they wanted to be in a relationship, man. You know, I was like, all right, let's do it. And shortly after, um, you know, I come to find out that that she had been unfaithful, and then she had mentioned it herself, and um, you know, I found it very hard to to be able to to move forward in a way. Um, and there are a couple of things that happened, and I won't go into specific details, but I found it very hard to to want to be in a relationship after that point. And I think that's that's gonna be understandable. You know, you try to be forgiving. Um, dude's on a, his phone while riding his bike. <laughs> that's interesting. He's not. He doesn't have a headset. He just has his cell phone to his ear. It could be a little dangerous. But um, but yeah. So I got to that point where where I um. You know, it was it was very hard to move on after that. And you know, during this period, I found it very hard at work. Um, and I like to describe it as I, I felt very numb the day that I found out, and um, it was very difficult to get through get through the days. I you know, I had to drive during lunch. I, I skipped eating. I had to just take drives just to um, just to really collect myself. And and it was it was very tough. Um, you know, it's not the first time that I had experienced a, a negative relationship. If this GoPro battery goes out. Um, it's it's because the battery's kind of low right now. I didn't charge it, but um, so if it randomly goes out and I'm just doing this camera, then you know that's the reason why. But um, I very I found it very hard at work. You know, I just had to sort of get out and and try to distract myself sometimes. And um, you know, I go home, I struggle a little bit. You know, it was a constant thing on my mind. You know, I'm not afraid to admit. You know, I shed tears. <laughs> I will admit that to anyone. You know, I it 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 weighed on me very heavily and um 
you know, like I said, it wasn't the first time, but it was definitely one of the toughest times. The first time I'd ever experienced something like that, um, it was during a phase in which I was very close to the depression, and um, you know, experiencing that at that time really helped tip me over to that point. And I, I reached a very dark phase in my life, and I was in there for a while. Um, you may have heard me speak about that on other videos. If not, then I'll, I will do that. But um, you know, this time it was a little bit different. You know, being older, you know. I'm 25 years old now, and in my first relationship, I was 17 years old. Being older, and um, you know, and this person was actually older than me. Um, being older and and still having that sort of thing happen, you know, it weighed a little bit more because as an adult, um, you know, you try to be careful, and and usually you know that when you, you know, when you're that connected with someone and and they do something that you know sort of sort of breaks your heart or sort of uh gets real far within you it's it weighs a lot heavier than than it usually and it usually would um you know at a younger age and so not to go to talk too much in detail about this so and i faced that time period where i was struggling a little bit um and you know it, it didn't take very long for me to start to to get back in the recovery process um you know I, I basically had to suck it up and i had to move on um and it's not so much that i want revenge this is how the source of the where the source of motivation of that come from it's not so much that i that i wanted revenge against this person but in a way i sort of did and um you know not to say that i hold any grudges against them i, tr I try to be really um you know i try to be forgiving you know sometimes it's, it's more it's easier said than done and i think we all know that i'm just gonna take a random road here um not just go in a straight line all day but it's a lot more easier it's a lot easier said than done something that we something that we know so um you may have heard this but success is one of the major one of your major ways to get revenge success because when you think about it um life you know in general throws us those difficult difficult moments they throws us it throws us challenges you know it's it's gonna challenge us in many different ways and um you know that can be between a job we don't like or, or or you know a boss or struggling you know financially or whatever life is gonna be a battle against us and it's gonna treat us unfairly just like someone in a relationship would and um you know to to go against that to get revenge is to be successful it's to go against that suppression that life wants to throw against you it's to go against those obstacles and and to say that you know this is not going to conquer me i'm gonna i'm gonna win so in a way i sort of reflected that with with the relationship i said you know what i'm gonna win um this person they they put me in a very difficult situation a, a very dis difficult point they made me struggle a little bit but i'm gonna win um <laughs> that was not that was me not too long ago but i had my helmet on i wasn't talking with the cell phone to my ear i had it with my headset but um yeah so i said i was gonna win and and as time go, goes on that has been one of is running red light dude as time goes on um run both of them <laughs> as time goes on that that has really been a a source of motivation for me it's been one of those things that i've i've said you know what i'm gonna go against this um this happened but I'm going to use this as a fuel to to really go against those you know suppressing factors and go against those those difficult moments of life and and and, and those people who have done wrong towards me. I'm gonna I'm gonna make them regret that you know. And like I said, it's not to the whole hatred against anyone. It's just like I said, it it's gonna piss you off just as it pissed me off. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage. Whenever I think about it, I use it to my advantage. When I'm in the gym, and uh, you know some song comes on or whatever that reminds me of this person. And it, you know, it, it really gets me going. I'm like, you know what? I don't get anger at it. I, you know, I don't get anger at the person. I, you know, I think about those sorts of things, and then I'll be like, you know, this is going to be a good source of energy. I'm going to use this to my advantage. Um, I used to be a lot more volatile when it came to that. You know, things that pissed me off when I was in high school. I used to go outside and hit the bag. I used to love boxing back then. I keep looking at the the screen rather than the camera. I used to love boxing um, back in those years, and that was something I wanted to do. So a lot of times, I use those things that pissed me off as a source of fuel or working out to, to hitting the heavy bag and all that so yeah so when when something negative happens to you in life such as that you know unfaithful person negative relationship um abusive relationship or whatever use that as a source of uh a source of motivation it, it can be one of your it can be one of your greatest sources of motivation don't let it get you down use it to your advantage 
So, you know, turning those negative situations into positive really can, can be to your benefit. Um, another thing that I've, that I've noticed, a lot of times you may hear a lot of people, um, especially during their success stories, they'll, they'll, they'll say that people told them that they couldn't do something, that they couldn't achieve something. You know, they have this dream or goal that they want to achieve. And people may say, you know what, you can't do that. Um, you know, you can't do that. And you hear them say that that gave them motivation to prove them wrong. That is another source. Um, it's one of the more known ones, but um, that's another source. If someone tells you that there's something that you can't do, um, you know, prove them wrong. Even if it's yourself, if if if, if you're thinking that um, you know there's something that's too difficult, prove yourself wrong. Prove yourself wrong. You know, learn what you need to learn. Push through. Um, you know, it's going to be tough, but but use that as a as a source of motivation. If, if anyone tells you that. Use it to your advantage. I've never had that problem, and it's probably a result of my personality. I'm a lot more to myself sometimes. Um, not necessarily to myself, but uh, being an introvert, there are just those certain characteristics of myself that are just just normal. Um, a lot more reserved. I don't really throw my ideas or, or things on people unless they really show an interest in them. Um, but you know, I've never had that difficulty. Um, no one has ever really told me that I that I couldn't achieve something. Um, so I had to sort of morph morph my motiv motivation in a way. And um, rather than, rather than um, you know, looking at them because they they say that I can't do something, sometimes people I'll tell them things and they'll basically just push it up to the side, um, as if I never said it. And it can be something very meaningful to me, but if they just throw it off, then to me that's sort of disrespectful. It's sort of not necessarily explicitly saying that I can't do something, but they sort of disregard my ability or fact that I can push forward and do it. So I've used that as my source of motivation. And um, for example, same person that I had the negative relationship with, um, I spoke to her a little bit afterwards and um, we were talking, checking up on each other, seeing how each other were doing. And, um, and I told her, you know, you know, some things I was working on. I told her what I found in life to be a source of passion for you, a source of, um, you know, push and what I'm, what my purpose is and the purpose I've given myself. I told her these things. I told her that I want to change the world in some sort of way. I want to make a difference in people's lives. And, um, you know, she basically laughed. And, uh, you know, it may seem like a small thing, but um, that really, that really got to me in a way. And, um, and I was wondering, why, why would you laugh? Or, you know, at me saying this. And, and I don't know if it was, you know, her being funny or, or being, you know, smiteful or, or what, but, you know, when that happened, it kind of pissed me off in a way. And uh, afterwards, like I said, I, I think about that sometimes, and I, and I, and I say that, you know, you may laugh today, you may think that, um, you know, and she probably not, doesn't feel this way, but I, I think this way. I use it to my advantage, like I said. You may think that, um, you know, this is not achievable, or I'm not going to achieve this, or this is just lightly, it's something I'm just talking, and, uh, you know, there's no meat behind it. But I'm going to show you, you know, someday you're going to find out, and I'm going to show you what I have done or what I've built um, that, you know, I told you that I was going to do this, and I did. Um, and it sort of goes back into that revenge factor. Uh, like I said, no grudges, but using it to your advantage. I used it to my advantage. Um, so, you know, that's how I have to, to, to find it sometimes. Nobody tells me that I'm not going to be achieving things, but a lot of people don't necessarily listen in a way that, that shows that they really taken what I've said to, to consideration and, and been serious about it. So, yeah, that's another source. Um, one of the ones I really want to talk about here. Um, so I'm reading this book on um, public speaking, and uh, one of the things that they mentioned in, um, in the book, um, I think it was, the book was called uh, Nine Keys to Talking Like Ted Speakers or something like that. I'll show you the image. Um, and they were talking about when you're crafting your story, when you're when you're trying to to, to, to appeal to someone, um, your audience, and when you're giving a presentation or speech or whatever, that um, I have my lights on, yeah. <laughs> that um, you know, they can see how authentic you are. They can see how really into it that you are, based on your passion, your movements, the words, your, the power behind your words. And um, one of the things that they said that that really stuck with me um, is to discover what makes your heart sing. And then when you talk about what makes your heart sing, um, people are gonna be able to see that. They're gonna be able to see um, that you're really into what you're talking about, that you're really into, um, I mean, it's actually gonna turn around. This road's kind of dark back here. I don't wanna get into dark areas because um, it sort of hurts the lighting of the videos. Um, so I try to find a nice little place to turn around. But, um, oh, crap, <laughs> hope it didn't break something. Um, so they talk about, you know, find that thing that makes your heart sing. 
and and when you find that thing that makes your heart sing, you you'll be really motivated um, from it. And I talk about this a lot about discovering your passion, about um, discovering yeah, that's really dark. Discovering what really really moves you and uh, really excites you about doing. When you just find that in your life, that's a that's a great source of motivation because you know. And when you're really into it, when it has meaning to you, um, a goal that you want to achieve, you know, do something for your parents, your children, um, you know for your life or, or for the lives of many people when you find that thing that makes your heart sing thing that makes you happy or you know whether it's like i said more of a selfish thing um you know cars or what you're passionate about or um you know singing or, or acting or whatever it is if it makes your heart sing you're going to be very passionate about it and um you know I, so i encourage people to to find out what that is what, what what's your what is your uh passion or what's something that excites you something that moves you what makes your heart sing so you know discovering that like i said can be a very great source of uh motivation and drive um another thing um it's probably gonna be our last point here i don't want the the video to get too out of hand and plus it's getting dark out of here um actually what was i going to talk about <laughs> so yeah i had another point i can't really think of what it was um i had it in my mind but i lost it you know those things that are just on the tip of your tongue and uh you just can't get them out but um yeah overall you know find those things that find those things that are negative um use them to your advantage um usually like i said it's, it's the things that 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 are negative that catch our attention that um that they can be really great sources of motivation um and like i said when it comes to your passion um it's usually something that you can think about in the morning something that that really drives you um flashing lights on um but it really drives you and you know if, if it's something like i said you think about in the morning something that you know if you don't like your job or or whatever that you can be like all right i gotta work on this i'm passionate about working on this and you know, maybe i can start a career in it or perhaps it is something on your job you you're passionate about your job and it's great if you're uh in a position and you love your job that way every some certain task um a lot of guys like i said are, are coders um you know if that makes your heart sing you know i don't even have to tell you to use a source of motivation because it's just going to be naturally a source of motivation for you um if it's something that you're really in use it to your advantage and um like i said when it comes to using that to your advantage um it can really change your life you know passion is one of those things that can really change people's lives because if they lose other things in life, no matter what you lose, you always have that passion. And, and in the process of uh, in the process of working on that, in the process of um, you know getting better at it, just embracing it, um, you're gonna build something, um, both mentally and externally. And you know, no matter what life throws at you, you'll still have that. So I encourage you to to find out what that is. Like I said before, find out what makes your heart sing. Find out what you're passionate about, and um, you know use that to your advantage so i'm probably going to talk about this a little bit more formally on my other channel some of these uh some of these thoughts a little bit more and and that one that i was fishing for but <laughs> forgot um so i encourage you to check out my other channel tip bit of life uh i try to keep that one a little bit more not necessarily formal but a little bit more structured um and i'm working on that to make sure that it is structured so you know check that out if you want um, it's the new channel that I started a couple months ago, around last year. Um, I've been morphing it, trying to uh, to really to really morph it into what I really want it to be. But um, yeah. Anyways, um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, as always, if you're enjoying the content, then stick around for more. And um, I'll see you next time. Talk to you guys later. Bye.